Today, we will meet the best scent hound in the world. This is a breed the police service swears by when it comes to search and rescue operations. If there is any chance at all to find a missing person, the bloodhound will find them. But this beautiful large dog has much more to offer than just its excellent nose. And in this video, I'm gonna tell you absolutely everything that you need to know about the incredible bloodhound. Welcome back to the Fenrir Canine Show. If this is your first time here, my name's Will. I'm a canine behaviorist and I'm the founder here at FenrirCanineLeaders.com. And everything we do on this channel is dedicated to helping you choose the perfect breed for you. So if you want to join this amazing community, start by hitting that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell and you'll never miss one of our future videos. But now, let's get straight into our discussion of the Bloodhound, an awesome and quite affectionate breed that has many incredible attributes. And let's start by diving right into the history History of this marvelous scent hound. The history of this large hound reaches back to the medieval times when the breed was developed in France, mainly for the purpose of tracking down wild boar, deer, and other game. Back in the day, owning bloodhounds was predominantly the privilege of abbots and noblemen. Therefore, the breed's name could stem from the attribute blooded, as in aristocratic hound. Their ancestors were the famous Saint Hubert hounds, named after the passionate French hunter and dog breeder Francis Hubert, who became the patron saint of all hunters after his death. And to this day, bloodhounds are still called Saint Hubert hounds in France. Several centuries after the passing of Francois Hubert, his hounds were introduced into England by William the Conqueror. Again, they served as hunting assistants for the ruling classes. In colonial times, Americans took a great liking to the amazingly capable hounds. And thanks to their legendary tracking abilities, bloodhounds have since become popular all over the world. Now today, they are the go-to breed for law enforcement and search and rescue organisations. Now, like most large hounds, these dogs are immensely affectionate and loving towards people, even strangers and potential burglars, which makes them fantastic family companions, but poor watchdogs and guardians. They are usually very quiet in the house, even though some of them will bark when they get excited. But as long as they are exercised enough, most bloodhounds are happy to hang out on a cozy spot in the home. Used to working together in hunting packs, bloodhounds are extremely social and they get along well with other canines. If kept as single dogs, they should be allowed access to the house. These affectionate companions need close contact with their loved ones. They are very patient and gentle with children. They are perfectly suited for families with many people coming and going to the home. Contrary to most other large breeds, bloodhounds will not object or even pose a danger to children's playmates or to friends coming over for dinner. Hey guys, if you're not already, you should be following our Fenrir Rescue Diaries over on Fenrir Canine Training Channel. That is following my journey of working at a rescue centre, helping dogs that have been abandoned, abused, given up or found as strays and helping implement behaviour modification programmes to allow them to become perfect canine companions that can be rehome to their forever homes so if you're interested in following my journey of how i do that there'll be a link to that channel down in the description box below i think you'll really enjoy the journey but i'll let you get back to the video you were just watching now apart from excelling in all tracking duties bloodhounds can be trained to compete in obedience or agility trials they are exceptionally intelligent and fairly trainable however bloodhounds do come with a certain stubborn streak and tend to ignore commands especially when they have caught a scent in search and rescue work, they unfold their true potential in tracking down missing persons. On the job, they more or less just follow the scent and pull the handler along behind them. This particularly quiet, independent way of working sets them apart from other breeds utilised by the police and rescue organisations such as Rottweilers or German Shepherds. Contrary to bloodhounds, these dogs look to their handler for guidance and direction. This allows the handler to send their dog into certain areas where missing persons or earthquake victims are suspected to be. When it comes to training a bloodhound in manners and obedience, their sensitivity is another feature of the breed to be aware of. Educating them works best with an approach that is based on positive reinforcement. Now, by and large, the Bloodhound is a robust and healthy breed. However, these dogs' size makes them prone to health issues typical for large breeds, for example, bloat or elbow and hip dysplasia. Their droopy eyes also can cause various eye conditions, such as cherry eye, and some of them can develop hyperthyroidism or von Willebrand's disease. Their large, droopy ears tend to get infected very easily and should be regularly checked. 
Now, bloodhounds do usually live 10 to 15 years, which can be excellent for such a big breed. Because of their considerable size and their origin as hunting dogs, bloodhounds need quite a bit of exercise on a daily basis. They love to run and roam and make superb hiking and running companions. Also, they can be taught to trot next to a bicycle quite easily. If you want to get one of these gentle hounds, it is best to set aside at least two solid hours a day to exercise them. Long walks as well as playtimes with toys, people and other dogs are perfect ways to make sure your bloodhound gets all the physical and mental exercise that they need. Bloodhounds have short coats that are quite easy to keep clean and tidy. Two or three brushes a week are enough to maintain them. The best tool to use is either a plastic grooming mitt or a bristle brush. And as we just mentioned, the bloodhounds long ears need to be checked for excess buildup of wax or for any signs of infection. Therefore, one ear cleaning session per week is recommended for them. The beautiful Bloodhound is an amazingly sweet and smart dog, very affectionate and attached to its owner as this large scent hound makes a great family companion. Because Bloodhounds are so gentle and easy going, they are also an ideal breed for less experienced dog owners. So I hope you enjoyed that overview of this incredible dog breed. If you did enjoy it, please give the video a thumbs up and don't forget, subscribe and turn on that notification bell so that you never miss a future video here on the Fenrir Canine Show.